Hello and welcome back to another video guys. So yeah, just a little update for you guys. Uh, the car is still running great. Rita's all working absolutely fine. Um, I've not been using her for a few days this week. Um, but I will be next week. Uh, but then I'll probably shortly after that week, I'll probably be bringing her back in the garage. Um, getting her so, sort of all sort of tucked in, ready for winter basically. I don't really want her sort of sitting on the drive and basically just letting the elements get to it obviously with these cars rusting so easily but the other big exciting update we hopefully will be moving on to uh, within the next sort of on towards January it'll probably be as well basically what I want to do is I don't know if you saw it from any of the other videos when the cars obviously in here there's not really quite enough space like it looks like a nice big enough space but once a car is in here You've got a nice decent space down sort of each side of the car, this side and this side, but the back, the exhaust is practically touching this little ledge here. So you've got to squeeze yourself down this little gap, which I don't know, is probably about 200 mil. Uh, but another big part of it as well. What's up, Solly? Yeah, so. Um, as you can see from a lot of the outside the shed is not in the best condition and is actually rotting quite badly uh, if you can see there away from the cat so you've got these boards here um, yeah it's not in the best condition and even sort of the kick boards are really sort of badly put on and not very well made the doors rotting quite badly as you can see so yeah it's it's not it's held up quite well because I know this sheds quite old and it's done a few years the inside is absolutely fine we braced all the roof so the roof's all been braced um, windows are okay for what they do I'll probably tidy them up but generally this side's not too bad but it's just the bottoms where they're a bit a bit rotten down the bottom but someone's just painted it in some household paint and not done a very good job and then obviously this is the outside of the door like I was saying there is about an inch or two inches between the inside out door and the front of the red car and what I want to eventually do is obviously make sure I can get the white car in there as well yeah so I obviously I want I've got plenty of space here and it's dead space um, that I can really use to sort of make this shed a bit bigger uh, I'll mark it on the floor where the white car comes and then obviously move out where it needs to be. It hopefully will only be to about here or even a little bit more in. But then hopefully once we get these doors on hinges, then I can just obviously move these out and sort of come out a bit more. But it just gives us that bit more access so I can work at the back of the car and the front of the car while it's fully enclosed during the winter period. And obviously aren't exposed to any of the elements and just gives you a better working space and uh, yeah that's about it really guys obviously just tidy up all this edging it's all really badly done like you can see there whoever decided to cut that didn't do a very good job uh, all this flashing needs to come off it's all rotten and very badly done uh, you can see my pet crocodile and yeah all this flashing needs to come off and then what I'm gonna have along here is guttering going into a downpipe and then just have a little um, what's it called a uh, like a water butt basically down this side and then hopefully we can get this area all tidied up get that slab all removed and then eventually what will happen is the garden will obviously be done after that um, next year sometime in the summer and we'll get all this ripped up and have some nice flooring basically some nice block paving in some form uh, all the way through because we're, we're not we're not gardeners we don't like it so yeah we're just not fussed about doing any gardening so we want it minimalistic and nice and easy to look after maybe a few flower pots and plants but generally yeah like I say so just having it extended from there and having it a bit wider so should be good so yeah that's the uh, update for now guys so yeah 
just waiting to obviously get some materials, uh, deciding what material to go with. Uh, I've looked at tongue and groove, uh, featherboard looks like quite a good choice, which would match the gate that I've got over there. So that would match that. And but instead of having this, uh, the the featherboard going up and down, I'd have it going horizontally instead. So instead of vertically, I'd have it horizontally. So you can cut it to the same sort of widths as these, so I can measure these up exactly, work work way round, put some really thick, nice um, concrete kickboards, which I think we've still got a couple left. I can put them down at the bottom there, so that'll stop the rock coming up through the bottom, because that's obviously that's what's happening. The moisture's drawing up through the bottom of the uh, the wood, um, and then reinforce these doors, put a better lock on it better hinges uh, tidy up these door uh, these window frames here generally just make it look a lot nicer than it is it won't take much because considering it's pretty rough as it is um, but it's a decent amount of space it's not worth knocking down um, for several reasons because obviously this would cost a lot more money to rebuild rather than just clad over it and make it look tidy again and give it a nice layer of stain or a brown sort of paint I don't know if to go whether to go like this color or like a dark gray that kind of like slaty sort of almost like gun metal but a little bit lighter um, and yeah so that's about it really so that's the sort of future plans hopefully over the um, maybe over the winter months I might be getting into this uh, obviously always looking out for those deals on timber so I can get it as cheap as possible make it look as nice as possible at the same time and yeah sort of go from there really guys so yeah if you like the video guys don't forget to leave a like subscribe if you want to see some more on these projects and what's coming up um, I will be taking the white car uh, into into the shed over the weekend like I say I want to get those measurements but another part of it as well I haven't had the white car up on uh, stands or up up in the air at the minute so I, I want to check out the suspension components make sure it's all happy it is a little bit twitchy on those B roads so I just want to make sure all the bushings and uh, all the rubbers are actually not perished because uh, I haven't had any time really to check that because we've been obviously working on Rita making sure she's all good and she is um, so yeah and then um, I'm gonna be doing sort of a week-long detailing session on the white car so because that'll be my daily over the winter um, and then retail being here um, so yeah giving it a good full clean detail so if there's any uh, cleaning companies out there that you know of that you can recommend I sort of tend to use Meguiar's, uh, Auto Glim uh, they're the two main uh, brands that I would use on my car and then I want to do a full clay bar, wash, polish, wax, and just keep topping that wax up over about three, four days. And just, I want to do all the wheel wells, really go into detail with it basically, and just give it a full clean, headlights off, get behind them, give them a polish and wax as well, do all the plastic trim. Basically just do as much as I can in that week and get it fully prepared for the winter. And um, hopefully, we can obviously keep out any corrosion, any rust that might settle in in any panels. So, fingers crossed that goes all smoothly. And yeah, that's about it guys. So that's the future plans for the next few months. And hopefully you can um, see what's going on. I will try and obviously keep you up to date with what's going on here and there. If anything changes. Uh, but that's what the current plan is at the minute. Um, like I say, obviously I've still got other projects on the go. We've got the trailer um, dolly that needs doing as well. And we've got possibly some other little bits as well. Um, but I'll leave that for another video anyway. But yeah, so if you like the video guys, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new around here and you want to see more of this. And hopefully we can get all of this looking a lot better. And the whole garden basically. We have been in here about a year and we can get this sorted out and hopefully looking nice so yeah like I say guys thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one cheers guys